Hey, what's up guys? My name is Deadly Sheep and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this completely seamless, fully expandable piston door and it uses any block affected by gravity using triple piston extenders and as you can see you can use concrete powder or gravel or sand you can make your own designs making it look as aesthetically pleasing as you desire and as you can see you can activate it from both sides no problem so the way this works is off of one of these modules. You will need to build one of these modules for every block wide you want your door. And just to go ahead and show you it works, I'm going to place a button right there. Go ahead and press this button. And as you can see, the module activates, closing the door. Press the button again. The module activates again, closing the door. So to build this module for every block wide you want to make this, you are going to need four observers, two building blocks, three blocks affected by gravity, I will be using sand, four sticky pistons, two repeaters, some redstone dust, and you will also need two buttons to activate it later on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. To build this module, you want to go ahead and place a repeater, set it to four tick delay, and then go ahead with one block space between, place another repeater, leaving it at one tick delay. Then you want to come over here, go ahead and place an observer with the output facing you. Then you want to come over here and go ahead and place three sticky pistons facing upwards. On the other side of that sticky piston, you want to go ahead and place an observer with the output facing you. And above that observer, you want to go ahead and place another observer with the output facing upwards. Then you want to go ahead and place another sticky piston. Then coming on in over on this side, place another observer with the output facing towards the back side of the module. Then over your repeater set to 4 tick delay, you want to go ahead while holding shift click, place another observer output facing upwards. And to finish this off, go ahead and place two building blocks right here above your tower of three sticky pistons and over here on top of your observer above the repeater set to four tick delay. Go ahead and set your three gravity affected blocks and there you go. That is how you make the module. So to continue this, you just go ahead for however wide you want to make this, you just go ahead and make a row of repeaters set to four tick delay. Then you want to go one block between behind those repeaters and place another line of repeaters, leaving them at one tick delay. Place a line of observers output facing the repeater set to four tick delay. On that side, you want to go ahead and make a row of repeaters, I mean of sticky pistons, three blocks high. Then you want to come down here and go ahead and Place another row of observers, like so. Above that row of observers, go ahead and place another observer on top. Then above that, you want to go ahead and place your sticky piston, facing upwards, of course. Coming in on this side, facing the back of the module, you want to go ahead and place your final row of observers, minus this one over here. So on top of your repeater set to four tick delay, holding shift click, go ahead and place your next row and final row of observers. Now to finish this off, go ahead and place your building blocks on top of that sticky piston and on top of this observer. Then you just need to go ahead and place your blocks affected by gravity, whichever ones you choose, like so. And to go ahead and build our input for this device to activate it. You want to go ahead on either side of the sand blocks, place two blocks out on either side. Then you want to go ahead and build you a platform about three blocks wide on either side until you have something that looks like this. Now once when you have this platform built above your modules, you want to go ahead and on either side of the sand blocks, build a tower three high. So go ahead and do that on either side. Then diagonally behind that tower, place two more towers three blocks high. 
go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So you should have something that looks like this. Now for your input, you can do this either side. It does not matter, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna just go ahead and do it on this side. Go ahead and place a button like so on this bottom block and go on the other side and place another button on that bottom block. Now go ahead and get your building block of choice and place a block here, a block here. Go ahead and break these three blocks. Now you wanna place another block diagonally below in the middle of those two, placing redstone dust on the blocks underneath your buttoned block. Then on this block right here, go ahead and place a repeater, making sure it is facing the back of your module. Once when you have done that, you wanna go ahead and place another block diagonally in front of this block, placing another repeater. And then in front of that repeater, you wanna place one more block. And then below that block, you wanna place another block like so. Now all you need to do is go ahead and build yourself a little staircase down until you get to one block above the ground. Then you wanna just come in on the side facing your module and place your final block. Now all you have to do is go ahead and finish wiring this up like so and you are done that is the whole design and just to prove to you that it works go ahead and press this button door closes go ahead and press this button again and the door will open and just to prove to you that you can activate it on either side i'm gonna go ahead and close the door go back over here open the door it's a pretty good design. I hope you guys found this useful. And if you are a new recent subscriber, thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. If you are not a subscriber and you are new to my channel and you found this tutorial helpful, maybe check out my channel for my previous upload. And if you like those two, maybe even subscribe for my future uploads. I will continue posting tutorials like this. And I also have a Let's Play series if you are interested in that. But yeah. Hopefully you guys found this helpful, and if you did, make sure to give me some feedback if there's anything else you want me to make a tutorial on, or anything I could be doing to make these videos a little easier for you guys to follow. But yeah, thank you guys for watching so much, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye.